okay now first of all run your exam and start first two services I, uh, I have already started them go to your HD docs and let's create a directory for our sign up system first let me create a directory to move all these websites that I have created move in this folder because I don't want it to look messy so let, I'm gonna write my other websites I'm gonna put all these in it so it looks clean so now let's create a folder we will put all our website files I'm gonna write uh, login we put all files in it I'm gonna create another folder and I'm gonna write images in this folder we put images when user uploads an image through sign up form we'll move that image to this folder so now open your notepad plus plus and let's start writing our code first save this in the directory that we have created documents exam HD docs log registration system I'm gonna write index dot PHP the first page of the website that you want to show to your user is index page and write PHP extension because we will write PHP and we we cannot write PHP in the HTML extension so make sure you write PHP I'm gonna save in this page we will write our code so now let's let's start doc type oops not dot type doc type doc type HTML it means the document that we are creating is HTML it is not important um, nothing gonna happen if you don't write this but it's good if you write this because uh, we want to work with standards so now let's write HTML head tag head close in the head tag I'm gonna write title I want it to be a uh, registration page because uh, I want the index page to have a sign up form we want to we want users to get registered on the index page we will have that form on index page the first page okay and for login we will create another page login.php and we will put login in there so now let's create body I think this is too much zoom let me zoom out it a little bit uh, now it's good here we will write our code for our form sign up form but before sign up form let me set up the layout first let's create a wrapper yeah now let's create another file the CSS file where we will write our styles new I'm gonna save it save as uh, I'm gonna create a folder it's good if we keep things clean styles dot CSS so now let's link this to our page in the head tag here link R E L REL means related it is related to style sheet and I'm gonna write style sheet and helper reference basically provide here we write our path to the file which is CSS forward slash styles dot CSS this is the style of our this is the link of our style sheet okay now we have successfully linked our style sheet to the our index page now let's provide let me open our file in the local host I'm gonna write local host 
Mm, yeah, here login registration system. The first page that you see here is the index page, okay? This is the title registration page. If you don't know about HTML, I hope you guys know how to write HTML because you are taking this course in PHP, then you must have some knowledge about HTML. I'm guessing that all you guys have some knowledge about HTML. I'm assuming, okay? But if you don't, then don't worry. You can just follow what I am what I'm doing here. Now let's provide a little bit styles to our body. By default, body have some padding and some margin I'm gonna make both of them zero because I don't want it to have margin or padding by default it have some padding and margin I made margin and padding zero I, I, I want our body to have a background color dark background color that will look cool and we will put white color to the wrapper and that will look amazing let me refresh see body have dark gray color now let's give some styles to a wrapper uh, I want it have width of 1000 pixels and uh, background color I want it to have white background color that will look cool and I want it to be in the center to uh, align any element in the center just provide the margin 0 pixel r and it will come in the center now the wrapper will come in the center but wrapper will not show up because we have not provided it any height let me refresh see no wrapper because height is not completely defined so we have to provide some height or if you don't want to provide, it height, provide any height and you want it to you want it to have height according to the content then when we will write something in here the wrapper will appear let me write something rubbish let me refresh see wrapper appears and it have background color and the height will increase according to the content in the wrapper but I want it to have some height let's give it some minimum height uh, uh, 400 pixels this is the minimum height when there will be no content wh when there is no content or nothing in the wrapper it will still have 400 pixels height and when we put content more than 400 pixel height then it will expand according to the content refresh it see it have 400 pixels height but there is no content in here that's what minimum height does okay now i want it to have some margin from the top because it's not looking good because it is totally close to this bar and it doesn't look good let me give it a little bit margin it will look cool margin from top uh, 40 pixels let's see what how it looks now nah, it looks good let me give it a little bit border border will look amazing one pixel solid this is the dark color very very dark color but not totally black dark but not black hmm but it looks totally black and it doesn't look cool uh, this is little bit lighter than that yeah it looks good uh, I want it to have some a bigger border from the bottom that will look good We redefined bo for bottom. I'm gonna write three. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, looks cool. Mm. Border radius. What about border radius? Now let's give it some border radius. Five pixels. Border radius basically rounds this from the sides. See, it is a little bit round from the sides now. Now it looks cool our page is set up uh, yeah it is set up here in this space here we will show errors to the users if user have not if user have not provided uh, na his name or any other field is not filled then we will give user some errors okay 
if user have not uploaded the right image if we uploaded some file instead of image then we will give some errors in here every error will be appeared here and when he successfully registered we will say here you are successfully registered everything will appear in here and that will look cool so in the next tutorial we will start working on our sign up form okay so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial and I'm really honored that you are enrolled in my course and have you in my course it is a daily honor for me so thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next tutorial